everyone welcome back to my channel i'm filming a vlog for you guys so today's monday february 1st so happy february to you guys um i thought i would just vlog the next few days so like today and tomorrow just because i have quite a few things that i have to do these next few days and i thought why not take you guys along so i finished eating breakfast i worked out um like around 9 a.m today it's kind of coming back anyways i have some schoolwork to get done i have to do some grocery shopping um Oh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks because I got like a gift card for Christmas and so I was like why not I don't really drink coffee but you know what it's a gift card it's free money so why not so I'm gonna go get something from Starbucks I think I'm gonna pick up my mom one as well it's my birthday on Friday so that's gonna be really exciting I'm turning 21 so um, a lot of exciting stuff happening so I'll probably do like a separate vlog um, on my birthday which you hopefully you guys will see like around the weekend um, but yeah anyways I'm gonna go ahead and like get ready and get started with the day so we're currently in the car right now my sister's driving and we are about to go to Meijer um, and Kiwi one, and then Kiwi my mom. Okay, money. thank you. Um, the uh, frappuccino is like my mom's. It's her like Java chip one. Yeah, that's right. Give you guys a quick little like review. So, I got some stuff from Yes Style and I was going to film a sit down video but then I was just like um, maybe I'll just include it in this vlog so clearly I'm going to include it in this vlog. So Yes Style kindly gifted me a $100 gift card to spend um, on their website. It doesn't have to be skincare, it literally could be anything and I ended up getting a few things. I got five um, skincare products and then one like accessory just because I couldn't really figure out like what other things to get so I thought I would just show it to you guys so this thing this is the first thing that I got it, they are these earrings they're like moon shaped I don't know if you just, I don't I feel weird like showing it to you guys just because I don't want to just like okay maybe like this I know this looks weird but yeah it kind of looks like that and I like it it looks nice when I'm like wearing something that I want to spice up so I feel like it matches like with like a sweater kind of feel you know um, so I think they're really fun and I normally just stick with regular studs that are like super simple so this is like something different for me um, the brand I have it right here it's she Z Tang I think I will have the actual um, name of it on the screen and in the description box down below I have everything linked down below so you guys can shop the items so this is the Mizon snail repair eye cream this is the first product that I got I don't know if you guys can tell but oh, oh gosh but um yeah I love I've been using it for the past three nights I think and it just brightens up my under eyes and it just is perfect because I haven't been getting a lot of sleep and my under eyes are just really dark so this is like the perfect thing and it's like also super light like it doesn't feel um heavy underneath my eyes which is the way I like it. Um, this will last me for a while, I feel like. Um, even though it comes like in the small thing, like you literally only need like the tiniest amount. So I love that. It comes in this like 
box. Um, yeah, really awesome. Um, and then the next thing I got is the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Sun Cream 50 Plus. So it looks like I haven't opened it, so maybe I'll open it now and show you guys what it actually looks like. Um, but a lot of these products are products that I haven't used. Like these aren't repurchases, but they are products that I've tried out from, um, like there are brands that I've tried out um, with other products. I just haven't used any of these products. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I, I'm really sad because this sunscreen, if you guys follow like, the skincare community and stuff like that, they there was like this whole controversy scandal with the Purito um, Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. And it makes me really sad because I love this sunscreen with like all my heart. And I was like gonna repurchase this because I'm like, I, I could probably like use it for a few more months before I run out of it. But like I've used this for like since the summertime and it just makes me so sad that like technically it's not SPF 50 as it says in the bottle or on the bottle and so it just made me really sad. Basically there was an independent testing done where they found out that this sunscreen doesn't isn't actually tested at SPF 50. It's like SPF 19 I think or SPF 28 um, was the most recent one that I've heard about but yeah I'm really sad about it. And so apparently it's not just this brand it's also like I think some a few more um sun or korean um brands that um also um aren't spf 50 which makes me so sad this is the one i'm going to use once i'm done with that one but yeah hopefully this will this will agree with my skin but yeah this is the second product that i got i'll put it back in the box um so yeah really sad really sad but um hopefully this will um be better for my skin and hopefully there isn't going to be like some type of scandal and all of that with that product. Uh, the next one is this Robectin Clean Lotus Water Cream. If you guys have been watching um, for the past few months, I've been talking about the brand Robectin. I mentioned it and um, I mentioned their brand in a Yes Style Haul uh, video that I did over the summer and then I recently tried out their cleanser. It's amazing. I'm going to repurchase it. And yeah, I talked about that like last month I think or no it's February now so like two months ago um love that and then this is a moisturizer that a lot of people have been talking about and the reason why I wanted to get it is because I've been kind of struggling um with finding a really great moisturizer I feel like my skin is just on the oilier side nowadays that like it's kind of difficult for me to find products or find moisturizers that will not break me out um and that won't cause excess oil and oil production on my skin. So um, I heard like this is like a moisturizer that um, a lot of people kind of go, gear to, um, go for in the summer because it's a lot lighter and all that. So hopefully this won't break me out. Um, but what's really great about Rovectin is that they're great for sensitive skin, for irritated skin, helps to soothe your skin. And they also are eco-friendly, cruelty-free, and 100% vegan, which is awesome. And they also have reasonable prices, um, which is awesome as well like the cleanser that i'm using it's like under 20 dollars and that's pretty good um and so yeah this is i'm so excited to try this out they also what i love about revectin they always have stickers so they come with a bunch of stickers in here i don't know if i can pull them out but yeah it comes like with a bunch of stickers so i can't wait to like put all my stickers on here i don't know i think that's so cute next thing i got i'm running low on my toner this is the benton deep green toner i'm running low on it like literally I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm running quite low. Where is it now? Okay, it's like probably like down here. Um, that's how much product I have left. Product I have left. So I've heard about the um, Dear Claire Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. A lot of people have been talking about this, so I wanted to try it out. So um, I'm super excited, and it has some really great ingredients. So Centella Asiatica Extract, which helps like with um, soothing your skin and if you have like any if you're like having any irritation this is really great for that it's in a lot of um products which is awesome it's in my cleanser it's in um my sunscreen so um yeah it's really great and then that's also super high up on the ingredient list which means that you're getting the full benefits of that i'm excited to try this out and um i got the unscented one because if you guys don't know i try to um, use skincare products that don't have a ton of fragrance in it or essential oils. I just feel like in the past I've noticed my skin just does not like that. And so, yeah, 
I think for me with my my philosophy with fragrance is like if it breaks you out don't use it if it doesn't then that's then use it you know what I mean the next thing is another Dear Claire's product I have quite a few of their products now it is the Midnight Blue Calming Cream uh, they have one this is a tube version they have one in a pot and I've heard a lot of great things about this basically you can use it as a moisturizer at night or you can leave it on um, as a mask for like 15 to 20 minutes and it just basically helps um, with like if your skin is irritated or um, it's just feeling sensitive and you, you find yourself breaking out a little bit more this will definitely help it has again centella asiatic centella asiatica extract which again I mentioned it's super great for your skin um, super soothing and it'll just help calm down maybe any redness you might be having um, I don't I use a dermaplane um, on my skin and like shave my face frequently like every couple of weeks but I've just haven't done that but I do still um, shave like my eyebrow um, like eyebrow my eyebrows uh, upper lip um, and so I feel like this would be really great to use um, and I feel like that would be awesome because I tend to if I don't like put any type of like moisturizer after I do that or like aloe vera I feel like my I will I will definitely like break out or just like get like um, weird like bumps on um, around those areas and so I feel like this will definitely help calm it so this is not a product that I would be I would use all the time it would just be a product that I would use if I just um, feel like my skin is really sensitive or um, after I shave those are all the products that I got. Probably doesn't seem like a lot, but yeah, I'm super excited to try these out. I won't try them. I, I'm not trying them all out, you know, in the near future. But as I start to kind of finish off some of the products uh, that I'm currently using in my skincare routine, I will start using these. You, don't forget to use my rewards code um, because then you um, save some money and I make a little bit of money off of it. So it's a really good thing. I would say a win-win situation. So yeah, but anyways. I'm going to go get started with some homework because I need to get some stuff done. I will talk to you guys probably in the next few hours because I need to really like be productive. So I will chit chat and talk to you guys later. So it is Tuesday. I forgot to end off the vlog last night. I went to bed at like 2.30 and so I only got like almost five hours of sleep, like almost. And so I'm just tired, but um, I think after I worked out, I'm, I kind of like got a little bit of energy, but uh, yeah, I just stayed up like just trying to finish my essay, even though I did not finish it. Um, I just, I, I guess I didn't realize like how long it was going to take me to like write like a few more paragraphs to type out a few more paragraphs. The paragraphs, <laughs> I think it's like the Filipino in me where like Filipinos pronounce uh, like the letter F with a P. So I'm just stumbling over my words. But yeah, I'm going to continue working on my essay. I'm going to finish it hopefully before my haircut appointment. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm getting a haircut and um, it's going to be at like 2.30. So I'm just going to get like, not like, it's not like a trim. I'm just going to get like a few inches off just because my hair is just getting really long. I like around this time, actually last year, I would just like, you know, straighten my hair a little bit more. But now I just don't really, well, I don't really care to like have my hair like super straight. So I haven't put a lot of heat on it. And so I feel like it's just growing so much faster than I, it normally would. Doing it to finish this essay and um, hopefully I'll be able to do that before my haircut appointment. So I'm about to um, go to my haircut appointment but I thought I would show you guys my hair. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look that long but I won't definitely want to get it cut a little bit. Probably here, more or less. Um, yeah, I don't really do anything crazy with my hair. It's just get it cut to straight and that's pretty much it um it looks kind of poofy right now because i did wash my hair so normally i don't like when my hair is like this um but okay. it is what it is got back from my haircut so as you can see it pretty much looks the same um, but obviously I did get um, 
like a haircut um, i got like about two and a half inches cut so yeah i didn't do anything crazy i just got it a regular cut i didn't do anything like layers or anything like that i just kind of like got it cut straight my mom is getting surgery or she's having surgery tomorrow um and uh, again i don't want to like share that just because i don't know how uh, comfortable she would feel so um but basically she's going to be in surgery for about three hours and the recovery time is about um two to three hours depending on like obviously how everything is and how it goes uh but she'll hopefully be um released sometime like early evening tomorrow um so yeah and her recovery like in total is about two to three two to four weeks it's like obviously it kind of depends but yeah she won't be able to like really do much um she's probably just going to be in bed for those you know for the first few weeks um for the next three weeks i would say i'll be here i guess it really just depends on like how my mom's doing but yeah since she won't be able to do much obviously um I'm, my sister and I are coming back home so that we could cook, clean, and just take care of the house while she's resting and all of that. And I'm not that worried because I'm a faith-driven girl and I wholeheartedly believe in God's plan and that God is in control of everything. And so I just have this faith that everything will be fine. I just really appreciate it. you guys could pray for her recovery, pray that everything goes well. Thank you guys um, for being just so understanding and just being so awesome. Like I just appreciate you guys so much because just everything that's happened these past few weeks, I feel like um, it's been hard to like be open with you guys and like share these types of things, but it's real life, you know, it's what I'm going through. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that, but um, just wanted to say just, I think as like my birthday is coming up and um, my YouTube anniversary is like I think the 23rd of February this month is always super special for me. Now being able to kind of have this relationship with you guys where I can really share these types of things and know you guys will support me and just give me encouragement is just the best feeling in the world. So thank you guys so, so much. So it is now Sunday when I'm filming this clip. I was supposed to end the vlog a couple of days ago, but I kind of got lazy and just forgot. So here we are. So um, today is Sunday, like I said, February 7th. So I turned 21 two days ago. So on Friday, and I was gonna vlog and like show you guys everything, but it was kind of hectic. Like there was just like a lot of things going on. And so I wasn't able to really vlog. So I'll show you guys like pictures on the screen here of like just what my birthday party looked like, even though it was only like me, my sister and my parents. It's your birthday, make a wish. You should. Let's do this. One. wanted to say thank you to um those of you who are watching who greeted me and said happy birthday it really made me so happy and i think what's really great about birthdays is like you get you're you're reminded of like how many people care about you and like sometimes you like take that for granted and yeah again thank you so much to um all of you guys uh for your birthday wishes and birthday messages it did really make my day and it made me so happy um i'm still getting a few more i still got a few more yesterday so um yeah so basically thank you um really um i thought that i would just quickly outro this vlog um also i did want to mention that my mom um, is recovering everything's going well she's able to walk a little she did still gets a bit tired uh, so she uh, spends a lot of time just sitting down but overall she's recovering and that's all that matters and so yeah i just wanted to kind of say that since we're already here and um all that so she's doing great and um she's doing great for like you know just getting out of surgery and like all of that uh, obviously she still has a few more weeks to go until she's like fully recovered but um in terms of like where she's at right now she's doing well 
Um, so yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoy this even though um, this was really all over the place, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. And um, thank you guys again for all of your sweet birthday messages sweet birthday messages and i will see you guys in my next vlog i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and i hope you guys have an awesome day or night whenever you're watching this video bye guys